Depression affects your entire life. It affects how you move, how you sleep, how you talk to people, and even how you express yourself in writing. Can we predict whether someone is suffering from depression by analyzing the words they use frequently? According to some studies, the answer is yes. In this video, we'll see the details of these studies and how depressed people use language differently from others. In this way, you can review the language you use, the words you prefer, and sentence patterns. Hello guys, welcome to Psychology. In this channel, we talk about psychology, well-being, and personal development topics. If you're interested in and don't want to miss videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. A study published in Clinical Psychological Science has unveiled a class of words that can help accurately predict whether someone is suffering from depression. In this study, researchers conducted a big data text analysis of 64 different online mental health forums, examining over 6,400 members. Accordingly, it was seen that 19 words were used more frequently in people with depression and anxiety. The common features of these 19 words is that they are absolutist expressions. The prevalence of absolutist words is approximately 50% greater in depression and anxiety forums and approximately 80% greater in suicidal ideation forums. Let's look at these absolutist words people with depression use frequently. Absolutely. All. Always. Complete. Completely. Constant. Constantly. Definitely. Entire. Ever. Every. Everyone. Everything. Full. Must. Never. Nothing. Totally. Whole. It is not surprising that depressed people use a lot of negative emotion words such as sad, lonely, or miserable. However, there is something more interesting and it is the difference in pronoun use by those people with depression. Those with symptoms of depression use significantly more first-person singular pronouns such as me, myself, I, and significantly fewer second and third person pronouns, such as they, them, or she. This pattern of pronoun use suggests that people with depression are more focused on themselves and less connected with others. Researchers have reported that pronouns are actually more reliable in identifying depression than negative emotion words. Recovery forums were also examined in the same study. In these forums, members who think they are recovering from depression write positive and encouraging posts about their recovery. It was seen that use of positive emotion words increased by about 60% in people who wrote in these recovery forums. Studies show that depressed people prefer shorter conversations and one-word sentences more. In addition, they mostly use past tense verbs. Of course, we cannot say you are depressed just because you use these words more often, but it may be a sign that we should not ignore. If you have symptoms such as feelings of sadness, hopelessness, cheerfulness, or emptiness most of the day, or nearly every day, angry outbursts, frustration, irritability, even over small matters, loss of interest or pleasure in most activities such as sex, hobbies, or sports, tiredness and lack of energy, so even small tasks take extra effort, reduced appetite and weight loss, or increased cravings for food and weight gain, anxiety, agitation, or restlessness. Frequent or recurrent thoughts of death, suicide, suicidal attempts. Please consult a psychiatrist and get help. If you are interested in psychology and well-being, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.